So here we have the BMW X3 on a 61 plate. I'm gonna start off by showing you around the outside of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. But from the outside, you can see it's a five door car with alloy wheels. Let's start off inside the boot and then work our way around the rest of it from there. As we approach the back of the car, you'll see we have reversing sensors, plenty of boot space as well, along with that 60-40 split folding rear seat, should you wish to increase this space even further. Okay, so we're just gonna work our way back around to the front of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. But now that we've done a full circle of it, you can see it's in excellent condition the whole way round. Just briefly before we climb in, I think it's while we're seeing the interior from this exterior point of view, there's plenty to run through on the dashboard, so let's hop in and we'll do that now. Okay, now that we're inside the car, we're gonna start with the dials. On the extreme left, we have the fuel gauge, followed by the speedometer, the rev counter, and then the coolant temperature gauge. In the middle, you can see the total miles for this car, which are 36,279. Uh, above that, uh, you can change information displayed there by pressing a button on the end of the indicator stalk. If we back out to the steering wheel, on the left-hand side, we have cruise control, and on the right-hand side, we have stereo and phone controls. The phone controls can only be used after such time as you pair the phone up to the car, and that is done over on the central screen just here, under the telephone heading. All of the movements that I'm making on the screen are all being done using BMW's iDrive system, which is essentially this dial and the collection of buttons that surround it, so you can go back to the main menu at any time by pressing that. The dial will do pretty much everything otherwise. So for example, you can highlight and enter the satellite navigation menu. You can zoom in and out of that map, all using the dial. You can go back to the main menu, go to your radio, and you'll see on the radio, uh, we have uh, FM and AM radio available to us. If you listen to your own music, you can do. That's under the uh, multimedia CD heading just there. Uh, so. As you probably already guessed, the car has a CD player, but it also has other external devices you can plug in. So USB input, auxiliary input, and in the middle there, Bluetooth audio, so you can stream your music wirelessly, as well as making and receiving phone calls. And I did everything you just saw there with that dial. Working our way down, we have the deadlocks to lock the car doors from the outside. We then have dual zone climate control. So you can adjust the passenger and driver temperature. You can increase and decrease the fan speed. You can determine where you'd like the air to be distributed. This button turns your air conditioning off in this case, or back on. Or you can, if you wish to, just hit auto, and the car will do all the work for you to maintain that temperature, or those temperatures. Press that button again, you'll go back to your own manual setting. Underneath that, we have the main volume and CD player just there. A couple of cup holders and a 12 volt charging socket. The gear lever for the fully automatic gearbox. We have the electronic handbrake with auto hold function as well. And then the iDrive system that I went through just a moment ago. The last thing I want to talk about is the panoramic glass roof for this car. Uh, you can open the front section as a proper sliding sunroof should you wish to. Or, with that closed, obviously you can leave it that way and it will let in a huge amount of extra light to the car and it really does give an increased sensor size to the cabin as well. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car in person and have a test drive, please feel free to give us a call here at Glenbournes. We'd love to hear from you soon.